Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing The Legend of Zelda. That's right, in this episode, I'm going to be playing a custom-made Minecraft world that was designed to be very much like a Zelda dungeon. It's, uh, I'm pretty excited. I gotta say, this is... Ooh, what's going on here? I feel like I'm cheating looking around, if I shouldn't be. Ew, it's big. All kinds of stuff. What's going on over here? What's this sign doing here? <laughs> okay. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. Alright now. Why don't you follow the rules? So basically, uh... Whoops. We're Link. Oh yes, you know it. Leave your inventory here. Alright, well I don't have anything, I don't think. Yeah, alright. Start with nothing. Just like every Zelda game. Beware those who enter here. How exciting. Oh, this is exciting. Oh, platforming puzzles. Yeah, I'd rather not fall down there. Alright, let's be careful. <sighs> platforming puzzles. Well, this is fun. Oh, I can't remember the name of the guy who makes this made this world. Shoot, hang on a second. I want to credit him. It was a user named Laos9. And you can find a link to his channel, as well as the video where I found this uh, uh, world in the, the doobly-doo. You can find the Lowe's links in the description. And if you go to his video, there's actually a download link for this world that you can download and play. Alright. So this is the rules. Let's see. Apply these rules generally. There are exceptions. First, the basic rules. You can't destroy any blocks. This includes keys you use to open doors. Hmm. Okay. You can't place any blocks. This dungeon is not a survival test. There are plenty of healing items spread around. You may take only one slot of items from any chest. Oh wait, there are places you'll take damage, so be ready. Okay. This dungeon relies on you playing by the rules. If you don't follow them, there's no point in even trying. Have fun. Alright. This room will demonstrate most of the mechanics you'll find in the dungeon. Okay. Take one of the stacks. Take some cobblestone. Now what? Throw the stone you received on the wooden plate so it remains active even if you're not on it. Huh. Nice. This is a locked door. To open it, you need the proper key. There are three types of doors. This is the standard door. You can open it with a normal key. A sand key. Found in the chest next to you. And basically, you're going to take a block of sand and take a redstone torch and put it right underneath it so you know it's a sand key. And when you place it, it opens the door. And apparently you're not allowed to remove that afterwards, according to what we just read. Why can't I move around? What the hell? Oh, I'm on the wrong keys. Dude, seriously? What about this? This is a red door. It can only be opened by a red key. I recommend you take the stone so you can remember what color keys you have. So you take some nether rock, and you put uh, your stone underneath there as well. Switch over to a red key. And bam, you can open the door that way. This is a blue door. Same mechanic as the other doors. If you pass this door, this part of the dungeon is over. Alright, diamond blocks. Take that out. And it'll unlock this door. Alright, so that's basically how keys work, I guess. Is that it? Alright, time to progress into the dungeon for real, huh? Clay blocks. This is the only block you may destroy. Okay. Iron blocks. This is the only block you may place, but only on other already placed iron blocks. Huh. Redstone wire. You may place redstone wire next to already placed redstone wires in th to bridge the connection. You can burn leaves. You can place ladders next to other ladders. Take the armor if you wish. No reason not to. Okay. And actually, in the video that I watched, he says that you might as well go ahead and take two sets. So, yeah, we'll do that. One to have and one to wear. So we'll go ahead and do that. Sorry, Link. I wish I had I wish I had a texture pack that made your diamond armor look like a Link's armor, but I don't. <laughs> Tips. Which one am I supposed to read these? Most special items you get are meant to be used at very specific locations. Use common sense to figure out where to use them. Most switches are placed on special blocks. Indicate where the power leads to. I try to remember what you see. Find finish your way and remember what you see. If if something has no use yet, go back later. This will help you a lot. All right. Cool. So let's go ahead and run in here. 
some big open world. Okay, I guess this is just a transition room into this wood room. It's Kokori Forest! Kokiri Forest, excuse me. And the tip that he gave was to explore really thoroughly and look around and really observe your environment. I think in this first room you have to find a hidden ladder or something like that. This is just going from the tutorial that he gave in his video. But yeah, you find over here there's a locked door. You can't open it because it's, it's the metal doors, of course. You know, you can't open those unless you activate the switches nearby. There's a sand key here. So we need one or two of those. Ah, and here you are. I already camouflaged in my texture pack. There are some torches. Or, excuse me, there are some ladders there. And so what you need to do is... Oh, there's junk over my head. Find your way over to the switch. There it is. It's nice and blue since my texture pack is wonderful like that. And I think that that's it for that. And then that should open the door, right? I'll let you know when we when we arrive at the point which I have not seen past. Oh, and there's a sand key for us. Great. So we'll go ahead and use that sand key. Oh, wait a minute. I shouldn't be on peaceful for this. I am on hard. Okay, good. Here we go. Bam. Very nice. And that'll open up that. And we get another sand key, huh? Okay, I get one block of cobblestone. And this is the door I'm free to open. This is interesting. What's going on here? Oh, hello. I see you there. That opens this door. And then there's another switch. Is that just for the... I guess I'll throw it, see what happens. Oh boy, is this a maze? Are you serious? Yep. Oh wow. Hmm. Well, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, dead end. Okay, well, we've already been this way. Let's try here's some grass. Ah, here's something. Sand key! Very nice. And you only get to take one. I think that that's going to be it for this right here. It's just easy to get lost in this little area. I think I'm headed back to the exit now. Uh, maybe? Yep. Okay, good. Alright, so I threw that switch. This is an interesting little puzzle there. So now we have a sand key. Cool. We can go through here. Oh, this looks this heart look more and more like a dungeon now. So there's some switches here. If we throw those, it was those metal doors over there, if I remember correctly. We're about to reach the end of where that video showed. So let's see. If we run through here, some wooden doors we can open. Just a wall of water. Oh, it's just to go up. Of course. Of course you are! Oh, I got sped up for a second there. Oh man, I need a sand key. I don't have any keys. Go back down. Man, it's starting to feel like a Zelda game already. It's like, ah, crap, I don't have the right kind of key. <laughs> this is really cool. I gotta say, this is neat. I'm, I'm, I'm planning on playing some cool music over this, too. That's why I've got the music for Minecraft turned off. Let's go ahead and... Oh, what's this? Sand key! Oh, it's just what I needed. You gave me just what I, just, just what I needed. I needed someone to please. Do -do -do. What am I, dude? What are you singing for? There's other music playing right now. You're just messing it up. Come on, dude. All right, so you get up here, and all of a sudden you get a little boost. Whoop! I don't know what that's from. That's weird. And we can use our sand key. Cool. Ah, all right, and the, now we can open the way back down if we want to go back there. That's cool. What's over here? New way to go. This is exciting. I gotta say, I really gotta give props to Leios for building this. This is absolutely awesome. Okay. Nothing to, nothing to do up here. We'll just drop down. Oh, careful now. I see some redstone wire, but I don't think we're really supposed to mess with that. Can open these doors. And then this is the way back out. We've already been in there, though. So what else is there to, for me to get so now that I've made it to this other side? Anything I'm supposed to, like, bring back with me or something to... Open the way. Hmm. I don't see anything. I didn't pick up any other chests or anything, so... We'll just go through here. Head back this way, and now what? How do I get back in there? That's what we want, isn't it? Alright, I took that chest. It's empty. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe these switches do more than we originally thought. In fact, I think they do. Yeah, they have they act actually work with both doors. See, you flick it, and this door closes, and that one back there is open now. But now that we've been through, we went ahead and opened this door. We can circle right back around. I 
can't jump over that. Obviously intended that he couldn't jump over that. So we'll have to run around through the hallway again. This is awesome. I gotta say, I, I'm very excited by this. I'm looking forward to getting to the parts that I haven't already seen video of. I'd already I'd forgotten how to do that just for a second there. I was like, oh crap, what am I supposed to get? Alright, and then when you come back through, the door that we need to go through is open. And that finishes the introductory part of the dungeon. Everything from here on out, I, I have not seen before, and I don't know how to do. Oh, it's night time. Okay. Use this chest to store items you may need later. Okay. I guess we can put our armor in there. Why not? I don't really need it with us right now. Not taking any damage yet, not really. Hello. Oh god, uh, you're not supposed to be here, I don't think. I don't know. Am I supposed to play this on peaceful, or are there supposed to be enemies? Oh yeah, check it out. My, my creepers have tuxedos and blood running from their mouths. I feel like I'm not supposed to have... Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No, 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 no. Um, I really feel like they're not supposed to have enemies, because there's no way for me to have a, a, a weapon right now. I see that ladder above that door there. Can I get to that? Am I supposed to be able to get to this? I mean, I obviously can. Now, oh, shoot. Would you get up there? Come on, dude. Oh, I'm, I'm pushing the wrong buttons here. There we go. Am I supposed to be able to... Uh, what does this say? Central room. What is this? This way to the start of the dungeon. Use this in case you haven't unlocked the central room. I don't know what the central... I don't know what's going on. Uh, let's see. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't feel like I'm breaking the rules jumping up to those ladders. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be a one-way thing, and you're only supposed to be able to come down those ladders. I don't know. We'll have to see. Where does this take us? Okay, yeah, we're back out at the beginning. We're not supposed to be here. Shoot, scratch that. Go back. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to be able to get to those ladders. <laughs> I keep forgetting. There's no jump button in Zelda, so maybe I'm not supposed to be able to jump and get to those ladders. Oh, man. I'll meet you back. Well, wait a minute. No, I mean... The switches are on this side, so if they didn't want me to, to go through there... I guess this is just for coming in later, make it easier on us. There's some reeds and stuff down here. I feel like I should explore this room. Let's see if there's anything going on down here. Doesn't look like much, just some plants. I guess well, the only blocks I'm allowed to bl break are clay, so... I don't know if I'm allowed to collect that reed and use it for anything. It's not like I can jump on it or really accomplish anything with it, so probably isn't that important. Hello, sheep. So yeah, I assume I'm not supposed to be able to get to that ladder there. Okay, so, let's see where we're headed here. Difficulty hard. Mechanics and illusions. Uh, that one's already open. What's this one over here say? I'm curious to see where we're headed later on. Oh, don't walk off the edge, dude. Seriously? Difficulty. I'm really sorry. Water and ice. Oh boy, that could be fun. So, let's say difficulty, easy. Sand and earth. Okay. Obviously there's a wall out there. Hello. That looks complicated. Careful, the water is poisonous. You may only cross three blocks of water. I'm trying to find another way. Am I allowed to climb on this? I hope I am. Hmm. You may only cross three blocks of water. Well, this is very obviously designed to be three blocks wide. I guess we're allowed to come over here. Hmm. I see a sign over there. I'm gonna go read that. What's it say? Link. Maybe we should go another way. Aww. Sorry, Navi. I tried. I guess, I guess that's supposed to be Navi talking to us through those signs. Why not? Am I allowed to just climb up there? This is really weird. I've... Ugh. I'm very confused as to whether or not I'm allowed to jump on things or not, but I don't know how else I would get through that area right there, so. Okay, uh, so let's continue walking over here. Let's see. This is not three blocks wide, I can just jump that. Anything here? Sand key! Awesome. Alright, well. Let's see if I can look inside. I don't see anything. I can't only like, put this down on a sand block, so it's no good for me right now. Scroll! Don't do that, dude! Seriously? You really need to turn off that mouse shortcut. I'm trying to use the scroll wheel, not jump back to my starting page. Okay, well, I guess this is a way out of something. Let's run up this hill and look and see. 
What's going on here? I see a bunch of locked doors. Let's see what we have to do here. This is already open. What's in here? Ah, a chest with some cobblestone. Okay. I can deal with that. Hmm. There's a door down here. Takes a sand key. We've got one. Cool. So let's see. And we already have the cobblestone to solve this little puzzle. If I could pick that up and put it in there. Awesome. And there's a switch. It's on bricks. Okay, I'm going to remember that, that it's on bricks. That's, that might be important. We are... Pa Oops, I'm not allowed to pick that back up, I don't think. Or, I don't know, maybe I am. I don't see why not. I don't know, I'll put it away. Alright, so that was on bricks. Let's go find whatever... wherever the, there are bricks out here and see if... Well, there were bricks down there, weren't there? Hmm. Let's go look and see. See if this is the door we opened. It is! Nice! Alright, remembering what you see is definitely a good hint. Okay, down here we find a boat! Oh yeah! Awesome! There's something you don't really use much of in Zelda games is a boat. I see tracks over there. Huh, how did I miss those? Find another way across. There's more locked doors up there though. I feel like there's gotta be more to that area, so let's, let's hop back across here. I want to explore and look at that door, and there's another open air one area, area up on the top there that I want to look at as well. Let's just see. Okay, that takes a red key to open. We, have, we obviously don't have one of those yet. Um, what about this one here? This just, just, just appears to be... Okay. Slow sand. Ugh. Gross. Alright, well, we can't open that right now. Alright, well, I guess we need to get over there somehow, so I suppose that's what our boat is for. Let's get down there and use it. Just drop down here. Cast off. Alright. Come sail away, my friends. And we're not going to be able to recollect this boat. I'm going to be careful that I don't totally smash it on the shore. That I just gently crest the water and go on land. Alright, neat. Hey, here's a switch on slow sand. Bet you I know what that did. Let's continue exploring, though, because I want to see if there's anything else to find out here. I think from the great number of torches, we aren't supposed to have enemies out here. Uh-huh, I see this. Don't touch with your hands. Find something else. Okay. Let's see. What's, what's there to find out here? Hmm. That's obviously a wall designed to keep things out. And there's a forest burning down over there. Hmm. I wonder if I shouldn't just go back up to where that slow sand door was and go ahead and go in there. Don't set it off in your hand. Alright. Guess we'll have to find a bow, maybe? Well, no, you can shoot arrows into those things without them going off. Hmm. We'll just have to go find out. I've activated the slow sand switch. Dude. Lagging. Not cool. Hopefully my bow didn't explode or disappear or something. You never know, man. Well, go the right way, will you? I suppose if it breaks, you can always go back to the chest and pick up another one, but kind of defeats the, the spirit of it, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and just beach it on the shore over here. Er, slow down, slow down. Whoop, oh, I'm drowning. Oh boy. Oh no, I can only cross three blocks of water. Alright, where's that slow sand entrance? That's gotta be where we're headed next. I don't have any keys or anything, and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to have that cobblestone with me at all, so <laughs> I'm reluctant to take it out and use it. We'll have to see. And more slow sand. If I haven't shown you guys this. This is from the nether, actually. Alright, what's in here? Official TNT poker. Na na na. I don't know sure how you're supposed to actually pronounce that. One use only. Alright. Okay. Well, I guess we have to go back to the TNT now, huh? Go back down there and use our boot. Our boot. <laughs> Ugh. Not even gonna try. So where did it go? Did we break our boat? No, it, we didn't. Good. It's still right there. Okay, let's see if we can be cautious about this and not just... Whoa! Well, it turns really suddenly. Oh, look at that. They've made a Link statue over there. That's cool. Elf Flexor or something like that. I think, I think that's actually Laos' buddy. This is built. This was actually originally made on a server with a little bit of the give command, I think. 
but not too much, I don't believe. So this is supposed to be the easy area, so I'm glad I'm not having any trouble with these puzzles yet. It just seems like a linear progression of things that you have to do to accomplish one task. You know, doing one task to be able to accomplish... Oh, see you later, boat. We don't need you anymore. Alright, there's the th there it is. There's the... Whoop, don't. Dude, seriously. Stop that. Come on now. You need to turn that off. Wah! No, wait, this button. Oh, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away, get away! Boom. Alright. Um... Uh, what? Ah, I see what you did there. I don't think I'm supposed to actually have all this sand, but let's drop down. Hello. Eins Leiter... Eins Leiter Nehmen Zoom Rockhausen. <laughs> all the ladders. Okay, we're not supposed to have those. And we use that so we can't have it anymore. And we get a torch. I don't want to have all of this stuff. There we go. So we get a red key. That means one... I don't. I know that just means one. Naming means to take. That's to the Ralph's common. I don't know what that means. I'll put an annotation. Take one to the... Please only take one or something. I'm not sure. It doesn't say please in there. I'm going to go ahead and just get the boat. So, sorry. I'm cheating. I have to go get the boat back. Ugh. I think, I think this is a fair way of breaking the rules there, just because of the boat wouldn't be supposed to drift off like that. So now we have a red key, we can open that door back over there. This is actually pretty exciting. Oh, uh, well, I was going to play in f f uh, third person mode, but you can't it's tell it's even Link, so it hardly matters. Hmm, oh well. So, where is that door? Let's just crash right here. Why not? Boat seems to be surviving okay. I think that the red key door was over here. Let's see if we can't get in here. I am really enjoying this so far. I gotta say, it does remind me a lot of Zelda. You had, it's kind of... You go around and around sometimes, but you always feel like you're going somewhere. A little labyrinth here, and we come out farther up the hill. Could we not have just walked to here? Um, what? I'm confused. Did I miss something? Wait, maybe it's designed that you can't actually get up here. Yeah, well, no, um... Actually, yeah, it does look like he dug it out so that you can't just hop up here. Well, no, you could. You could just run to there, and then you climb up that, and then come over here. But he obviously tried to make it so you couldn't just hop up here. <laughs> uh, am I not supposed to jump up there? That's two blocks. Oh. Uh, so where am I supposed to go here? This way? Around the corner? Ah, yes, I see. Okay, neat. We're making progress. Alright, we got a sand key door. It's over here. Looks like a chest. With a sand key. How nice. Trying to keep my inventory nice and clean. And we can go ahead and go in here, huh? Let's see what there's to see. Oh, way up to the surface. That's a nice zigzag stair there. I like that style. Hello. I like the way that looks. How do we get in there? Don't think I'm supposed to go over here. <laughs> That's why we got the TNT poker. Alright, well, let's drop back down because that door is not going to close behind us or anything. And I want to see what there is to see in these other ones. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to be able to get to that, am I? Or no, wait, maybe I am. Yeah, I am supposed to be able to get to that by coming out up there and running across. What am I doing? Alright, I'll follow your rules, Leas. Leios. It was L E I O S 9 or something like that. Leios. Leios. I don't know. Not totally sure. He's German, apparently. Which is handy because I speak a little bit of it. Enough to, you know, do basic stuff. What kind of key was that I just got? Is that a red key? I think it was a red key. I put it in the red key slot, didn't I? No, it's a diamond key. Okay. Well. See, as long as you put it in the right slot there, you'll know what kind of key it was, so you don't have to worry about that. Where have we seen a place we needed to use a diamond key? I don't think I've seen one yet. Did I miss it in the area? Well, that down there needs a diamond key. You know what? We're supposed to take the boat down to there, aren't we? Hmm. 
<laughs> Would it be okay if I just told you guys I'd go down and get the boat and sail around and cut to when I arrive on shore, but not actually do it and just jump off here? <laughs> Would you hate me? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go down there and get the boat, and then I'm going to be on shore. I'm going to sail all the way back around, and then I will actually be right there. So, yeah. I'm on a boat, and it's going fast, and I got a nautical theme catching me to Afghan. I'm the king of the world on a boat like Leo. If you're on the show, then you show not me Oh, look at me being good. I actually went back and got the boat. That's how anal I am about rules. Oh, shoot. There goes our boat. Crap. I'm not supposed to have all this stuff. Get out of here, you. Hope we don't need the boat anymore. <laughs> All right, diamond key. Oh, look at that, my own artwork. I would presume that that would be something else rather than my own junk. What's this? Flint and steel! Ball in! That allows us access to the next area! Woohoo! I like the Triforce on the floor. I did recognize what that was. Good work. This is the earth key used to open the earth door. That leads to the temple ruins. All right, I guess it's a big key, so I'll, I'll put it over here. Am I going to need both of those pieces? Am I going to need both of those torches? Maybe. That leads to the temple ruins, okay. Nothing down here anymore. You are done. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> oh, it's the way out, but it can only go through from one direction. I guess that's a maintenance tunnel. Something like that. They didn't have those in Zelda. I wonder what that artwork would have looked like if I hadn't changed the texture backs. Whatever. Can I go through here now? Is this a shortcut back? Um, what? I can't actually do anything with this stuff, can I? Oh, there's coal in there. I don't think that's actually supposed to be there. I, at least I don't think so. Let's see if I can handle it. Uh, Alright, well we have a flint and steel, and we have the earth key. So now we just gotta get our way back inside. So I'll meet you back in that central room. I guess I should go ahead and note that if you're gonna be playing through this on yourself, uh, by yourself, and you don't want me to show you all the answers and such, you might want to go ahead and play it now. Uh... This is a really long video, so you can just pause and walk away for a while and just come back. Your computer should save where you were, so don't worry about that. And, uh, yeah, you can follow the links in the description to go to Leo's channel and the video where the download link is, so enjoy. Shouldn't be too hard to do. You will have to have uh, WinRAR or some other uh, unarchiv unarchiving program that will allow you to... Uh, take the RAR file that you'll download and turn it into a regular file so you can actually use it. But it's not that hard. Alright, so which way do we do this? We want to go here. I want to go to the Earth one, right? And this one says, difficulty, I'm so sorry. I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. <laughs> uh, I don't, certainly hope not, at least. Yeah, that's the last area. Difficulty hard. Mechanics and illusions. Get out of here. Just burn the leaves up. Neat. I like this mechanic. Keep everything burning up. Fire it up. If that song isn't repetitive enough, seriously. Watch out, dude. I probably am. Wait a minute, difficulty hard. Maybe I should put it on hard, huh? We have a weapon now that we have the flint and steel. Yeah, you can actually burn enemies. Alright, seriously? Are y'all gonna do this? Oh, it's wood. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, that's tricky. Hoo-ha! Yeah, I guess I'm supposed to leave it there. Greed leads to death. Be modest and take the leap of faith. Good luck. Okay. Oh, uh, wow. Silver. Wood. Gold, dirt, obsidian, diamond, and no way out. Um, greed leads to death, be modest and take the leap of faith. Is that a hint of some kind? Greed leads to death, be modest and take the leap of faith. GL, good luck. Smiley face. Well, it's not any of the precious metals, then. Uh, it's probably, like, dirt, I would think. Uh... This is kind of cheating, because I can actually see down there. But here we go, off the dirt one. Oh, and there is something down here. If we walk straight ahead. Ooh, we fall again. And come out here. Just walk forward in a straight line. 
That was neat. Oh boy, zombies. Please don't be spawning in here. <laughs> okay. Door puzzles. Back to faith. Oh. Okay, so if you wanted to go that way, you could. What's in here? Got a chest. Ah, uh, one cobblestone. Okay, I still have it. We still have the earth key, too. I don't know what we're supposed to do with that yet. Oh, great. Maze. These are fun. Jeez. <laughs> Hey, there's a chest up there with a sand key. Cool. Don't know how to get that open from this side. Okay, it's probably everything that's in there. I guess we have to go through here now, huh? Anybody want a sand key? No, not in here. All right, what did I miss? This isn't a sand key. I don't think we want to go back. We want to go back that way. That's the wrong way. Hmm. Must I miss something in here? Uh, somewhere to put the sand key, I would think. To open that. To open something. Some dirt there. It's probably just a texture problem. I don't think he meant for it to mean anything. Hello. That's probably something important. He must have done all kinds of redstone wiring and stuff behind the scenes in this area. That opens the third door down there. Yeah, that's what I figured. Good stuff. Good puzzles. Hello. Lagging. Right, I got another switch. Doesn't open this door. Life and listen, I can hear. It opens. It's doing two things. One on this side and one on that side. So let's go back and see if that other iron door is open. Yeah, it looks like it is. Right in the middle here. Are we going to run into a stopping point? Hello. What's this? Mid-height maze. Well, a lot easier when you can just see through the whole thing, can't Isn't it? Oh, shoot, don't do that. Come on, block of iron. We're allowed to place iron blocks. We get six of them, I guess. Anything here? You can see where the paths are, but you can't see what's on the ground. That's the tricky part. So that could be just like a hole there, and you just fall in. Alright, so here we go. Let's go through here. I should equip something that's not an item. So I don't accidentally use it. I don't know how to get through that. Alright, uh, dude, lagging again. Let's see if we can go back through here. What's there on the other side of the room? Oh, okay. Hello. We have one piece of cobblestone. That's not the one from earlier. Well, it is, but it, it's supposed to be a new one. Alright, let's go in here. Ah, I see what you did there. But only on already placed iron. There we go. That's obviously what you're supposed to do. Bridge the gap. And open the door. <laughs> One. It's on obsidian. That's not a. That's not a. <laughs> I bet you that's not just a. You know, aesthetic decision. Let's just throw this one. Right, let's leave the other one off or whatever position it's on right now. Hello. The way back out. That's pretty obvious. Okay. I mean, obvious that that's the way back out. Not anything else. Zero. Hmm. That's probably binary for this one being on, that one being off, but how am I to know which one it means on and which one means off? Alright, we're back. Sorry about that. Whoa. A little bit of lag, some crazy stuff going on. That's not right, is it? Okay. I would assume that zero means down and on is up, but... Huh. Maybe it's the reverse. Let's see. Go through and flick them all so they're back the way they were. Like that. Oh, that opened the door. Yeah, alright. So I guess down is on. Down is one. Alright, I understand. Nothing back there. What have we got in here? Sand key. Well, we got that. And a red key. Okay, that just changes one key for another probably the right thing to do there. We still have the earth key. I don't know what we're going to do with that. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be able to see that, but no, no, we are supposed to see that. That's some redstone space that we're supposed to take, I think. Let's see. It's back here. I see that switch. Am I supposed to be able to get to that? I would assume so. I mean, it's the only thing that we could do here would be to flick it. Let's just do that. It probably turns this on. Yeah, it activates that, whatever that's powering. Okay. So we got a red key, and we've got the earth key, we got our flint and steel. And that's it right now. 
Huh. Ah, one piece of redstone. And nowhere to go from here. Let's look around. Be cautious, make sure we're not missing anything. And so now that's got to be to fill in that one piece that was missing in that circuit there. So let's do it and see what it does. Open the door in front of us. You know it. We've made it through quite a series of these doors. And we already have the red key. Thank you very much. All right. A ladder. <laughs> I actually feel really accomplished figuring that out. That was very, very well designed, and I, I really enjoyed that. Awesome. We're going to have to no notify uh, Laios that I actually did this. I hope I'm saying the name properly. So you can come watch this. It's good advertisement. Let's see. One piece of cobblestone, huh? I don't think I'm supposed to have that coal, to be honest with you. <laughs> that was a mistake. I'm put that back. <laughs> uh, okay, I need a sand key. I don't have one. Or I guess that's what that's supposed to represent, is me putting a s sand key there. Locked door there. Uh, we can work around. Okay, well, we just picked up some cobblestone, so let's go ahead and use it. Let's be careful we don't toss it through the hole where we can't get it back. There we go. That opens the door for us. Okay, cool. Ah, open air. How oh, nice. What's back here? Ah, oh, you thought you could hide it from me, huh? That's my sand key. Alright, good stuff. So, I'll go ahead and put that there. Let's see what that does for us. I'll probably open that door out here. Yeah, it did. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So good. Let's see. Hello, platforming puzzle. I'd like... Whoop, uh, wow. Let's be careful here. Mm -hmm. I actually want to bet it has some cobblestone in it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I thought I could do it on my first try, man. I went and screwed it up. Let's try this again. I could have made that jump if I timed it better. I believe I could have, at least. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, no. Earlier when I was talking, maybe I'm not supposed to be able to jump. Of course I'm supposed to be able to jump. You have to jump in the first room in order to progress. Alright, so we'll put that cobblestone there. But yeah, it was cobblestone, because we needed to do this, yeah? Qua! I like that switching, uh, switch pushing method there that he came up with. Very cool. Alright, we need a diamond key. Battery 1, battery 2, battery 3. Hmm. What's. Whoa, lots of text. Phew. In this room, you may place dirt and redstone parts on already placed dirt blocks and only there. You need to activate the main power line, the one in the glass tunnel, to activate the switches on the wall. The signs next to the switches show where the power from the specific switch is going. Most switches have an AND gate behind them that requires, the, that requires power from the main line. <coughs> Excuse me. You can't use your torches to power the power line. Remember that redstone only flows 15 blocks. Use your space. Okay. Final room. If you don't know much about redstone circuits, you may skip this room. Just use the redstone set to open the blue door. If you want to try, take the stuff in the chest. The objective is to activate the three batteries that open the door to your right. What is this? And refers to an AND gate. Mem refers to a memory cell. Bat refers to the battery. Time refers to time delayed circuits. That means that this power is the following part. I get to take this stuff, huh? Okay. So I get dirt, I get redstone, and I get torches. I am not good with this stuff, so let's just see what we can do. B2 leads to and battery 2. Okay. Well, oh, shoot, don't fall in there. Ugh. <laughs> this is a lot to look at once. Room three. Hmm. Room two. Battery two leads to memory and bat. Time res bat. Oh, holy crap. Uh. <laughs> uh. Bam. Flip a switch. Good stuff. Okay, obviously. Do this. Yeah. Okay, let's fill these stuff in. Well, no. That's going to be way too long. I'm going to have to make some bits here. I like that he marked it with with uh, dirt, though, so you know that that's the part you messed with. 
We've got to make an alternator here to, to get through this. So we'll just do that. No, oh, hang on now. Bam. And then this. Make an actual circuit, I think. Or maybe I'm supposed to put it on the other side so I'm not actually powering the line. Maybe. Oh, shoot, my things are getting all mixed up here. There we go. Okay. Same thing for this one here, I would think. Uh, holy shoot, this is crazy. Uh, <laughs> what about in here? I'm just... Power line 2. Mm-mm-mm. I'm going crazy. But you need one in the glass area. That's the pa main power line. You want that on. Oh, boy. Um, shoot, this is crazy. Alright, let's go back through here. I don't know why this room has this weird floor. Need a diamond key. Need to get that open. Ugh. Hmm. As long as next to this would just show where the power is from. Okay. Memory cell. What is a memory cell? Time delayed circuit. This power is the following part. Okay, so that... So the AND power is battery 2. So I gotta get the AND gate going. An AND gate is essentially a logical operator. It's a, it means that you have to have both of them powered in order to have any power at all. Memory leads to AND leads to battery. I'm not doing anything with that. So I don't think so. No. Alright, what did flicking this do? This leads to AND powers memory powers battery 1. We gotta get that AND gate going, however it is we're supposed to do that. Am I allowed to hop over this? I think so. AND powers battery 1. Alright, how do I get the AND gate? Which one of these is the AND gate? I mean... <laughs> Hello. This looks complicated. Uh, boy. Deliver power to all three circuits. If you run out of parts, try to use the already placed parts to your advantage. <sighs> Holy shoot. This is crazy. Um, I am so totally lost here. <laughs> this is just blowing my mind. This is just far beyond my expertise with red dust circuitry. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Okay, so obviously what we want to do is get power to this door, and I believe that that power is running from this line here in the glass. So we need to get that powered up. But we're freezing up again. Gah! So we need to fill this with power. We need to get this red line in the middle going. But it seems like the AND switch powers everything else. we got to get that going before anything else. But I don't see anything that is labeled as the AND. Let's just see. That Was there a hole there? Oh, I guess it has to be there, doesn't it? Power line one. Bam. Nothing happens. Okay. And leads to power line two. Alright, seriously? Bam. No, 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 no. Just put it... Put your uh, wire there. That one's off. Oh, that's a graphical glitch I need to fix. Hmm. Alright, let's just wire all this shit up and see what we can do with it, huh? There we go. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Where does the power start? Here, maybe? Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. This way. Here we go. Does that. And goes this way. Over here. And it runs out of power right there. Alright, I'm going to have to make an alternator then to do that. Oh man, that's going to be awful. Oh shoot, I'm out of wire. Uh, what? That stinks. Why is my frame rate so low? I didn't do anything else, I'm just walking around. Alrighty then. I don't know nearly enough about red stone circuitry to even have a chance at this puzzle. So I'm going to take the cheetah's way out. I don't think I'm even going the right way to get out of here. I can't even escape the rooms that we're in here. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I have the, my, you might notice that my world 
as I said, one big omission is that I basically have very, like, essentially nothing that runs with retro redstone circuitry. And, uh, yeah, there's a reason for that. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Alright, so we got the earth key. I'm just gonna steal one of these torches to, to pretend that we got the power to work and open the door over here, so. But don't Time to leave. Or, wait a minute. Or is it this door? Actually, I think you power this door, and then that chest gives you the one torch that you need to open this. But whatever. Like I say, I suck so bad. And this is not really a Zelda quest with, like, electronics and stuff. Oh, well. Uses the black key. Use the open door to the temple ruins. Huh. Okay. It's just another pair of redstone torches, but that's cool. I wish I knew more about redstone circuitry. I would have actually tried to do that puzzle, but, like I say... Don't even have a chance of that stuff. Alright, cool. So we got another key. Where to now? I guess we can burn off that other door and go for the third key, but I don't actually know where I'm going to be putting these three keys. Wait a minute. How did I get in here? It wasn't through this door. It was this way. Yeah, it was a tunnel. Wait a minute, what is this? What's back here? Oh. That little thing I put out there is no longer on the switch holding this door open. That stinks. Um, bummer. Looks like I'll have to abuse this door. That's really weird. Maybe it just disappeared because I haven't come around for too long? And there's certainly no way for me to get out there and put something else back on the switch now. Oh, uh, yep. This gives you a good time to look at the new edited cracks pattern that I created for this texture pack. Made that myself. Oh yeah, very proud of my cracks. Not my crack, perverts. My cracks. Alright. Hello, is there a spider? I didn't like that sound. Alright, let's uh, go back down these stairs. Gotta head to find our way back out to that center room. Whoa, what the heck? I'm spinning in circles. Alright, we came in through here, right? Well, hello. Door's closed again. That switch in there is not being pushed. Again, the thing's disappearing. That's a bummer. That makes it really difficult to get back, because you have to beat the doors down with your bare fists. And it's not good for me to be punching things that are much, much harder than my fists. Don't know how I feel about this. I think I'll just meet you guys back in the room, the central room with the pillars and the, the big pillar in the middle and the four spokes. Yeah, see you there. Hey, one of the fires went out. Cool. I have to get burned on my way out. Nice. I hear some animals down there. Hopefully no skeletons or anything like that. Well, we still got our fire maker device, so let's burn out this one. Where the difficulty is, I'm so, so sorry, please don't hate me. This could be a difficult section, that's, what I, that's the vibe I'm getting here. Water and ice is the theme, so we'll have to see how far we can go with this. I don't have any keys, but I do have the earth key and the black key. So, hoo-ha! Plunk! Uh-oh. This might be difficult to get back from. Here we go! <laughs> Here we go! Down a very slow and lumpy water slide. Alright. What an exciting conclusion. This is neat. This is like a half-submerged tunnel. Man, if this is anything like the water temple, this could be bad, man. Hey, look, iron. Yeah. Be sure to move slowly through these tunnels. Like, oh man, one of my arms is stuck in the wall. That's not cool. Get out of there. Stop it, wall. Stop consuming my body parts. Jeez. Do, 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 do. Dude, don't, don't be singing. There's other music playing right now, and you're messing it up, dude. Oh, I don't know where I'm going to find enough Zelda music to fill up this entire video. <laughs> Maybe I won't. <laughs> Might run out, or like loop it, or play like every single song I can find. I apologize if the music seems inappropriate or strange. Let's see. Um, what? I seem to have run into another... Oh, a dead end here. Just swim up. Uh, can I make that? Oh, I can, I guess. I'm now I'm getting boosted up somehow. I'm not sure how I sped up there, but okay. The key is not in one of the three parts. What? I want to be in there. Eh. 
The key is not in one of the three parts. Well, we've already done the three parts, and we don't have the key, so... Did someone just shoot an arrow at me? So where is the key? Did I miss some big secret key area back here? I must have. Hmm. The difficulty is, I'm so sorry. I mean... Wait, I can destroy clay, can't I? What if one of these walls was clay and I didn't notice? Ah, oh, maybe. That would be pretty tricky, wouldn't it? Let's go back up here. Hello. Wow, lots of zombies and stuff. Oh, not the torch! Not the torch! Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Get the torch. Put it back. I'm so sorry. Oh. Dude, get out of my ear. Come on. We don't need you guys. You know what? Get out of here. Sick of hearing about you. There's gotta be some clay in here. It's the only block we're allowed to destroy. So one of these walls has gotta have some clay. I mean, that's the only thing I can think. Unless it's down underneath the water. Oh my god. This could be really... He could be really mean about this if he wanted to. I think that's gravel. Hmm. Let me think. What would I do if I were him and I were a complete asshole? <laughs> Not saying he's a complete asshole, just speaking hypothetically here. That looks like clay. No, it's stone. It's all stone. Hmm. Water and ice. Alright, that fire's still going up there. Wow. Let's see if we can't climb back up here. Maybe we missed it. Because I think when you jump over that, you're supposed to miss it, you know? Alright. So, where's the clay? Where's the key? If it's not in one of the three parts, where else would it be? Dude. 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 How do I get out of here? I have to, like, swim up the water? And then from here... Leap up onto the platform? That might not work, actually. Uh, what? How are we supposed to do this? How do I even get back once I've got the keys and stuff? Seriously? Ugh, what? Okay. Maybe if one of these is clay somewhere in here. There's clay. That's all I can guess. At this point, that's just what I'm hoping for. Oh, man. This all looks the same. I wouldn't be able to tell Clay apart even if, even if I was walking right past it. Hmm. None of them seem to be soft enough to be Clay, but... Something back there was squishy. I stepped on it. Is this Clay? Or is this sand? This is Clay, isn't it? No, it's gravel. I'm cheating. Put the gravel back. Dude. Ah. Hmm. And if I were him, I'd put it under the water. But... Who knows, man. There's cobblestone here. That means he built this area. Maybe he just ran into a cave, though. That doesn't mean that. There's something down there. Hmm. Okay, seriously? There has to be clay around here somewhere, or, or something. If the key's not in one of the three parts... Uh... Wait a minute. Is this, this is gravel. This is all gravel that we're walking through right here. Eh, uh, dude. Really now? I'm stumped. What am I supposed to do? How frustrating. That seems like sand. Why does they get all the way to the top and then I slow down? The key is not in one of the three parts. What in the world? Where is it then? Is it up in there? There's nothing in there. It's just water. Where's the key? There's no key here! Hmm... What? Seriously? 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 I'm dead cheat. I don't really care. This does- this looks like a temple. Oh, wow. Huh. <laughs> I feel like I've sort of lost my integrity in this game so far. I've been, like, doing all kinds of stupid crap. No bombs here. At least not from this angle. Well, I see some signs there that don't say anything. Maybe that's the back of a sign. There's a chest over there. Whoop! Whoop! Uh, 
Oh, I can't get to it. How tantalizing. This reminds me of the Dongos. This is the Dongos lair! Holy crap! Whoa! That's cool! Dude! Very nice. Well, I know exactly how to start, then. Where are we gonna get a bomb item, though? There's no bombs in Minecraft besides the TNT boxes. Well, that we're gonna have to blow up, I already can tell. Alright, up the ladder we go. Yeah, baby. How do I get this open? Oh, locked door. That must not be how we start. Whoops. So how did you start back into Dongo's Cavern? I believe it was down here, actually. There's a switch or something you had to press. It's dark in here. Huh. Let's see. Oh, wait. I'm almost supposed to be able to cross three blocks of water, aren't I? Does that mean I'm not supposed to be able to swim around down here? Hmm. I guess if you fell in the water, you'd be able to swim back out, but... Hey, that's clay. Tricky. Alright. Hello. Am I allowed to pick up clay when I get it? Uh, it's not like I'm not gonna... It's not like I'm gonna be able to put it back together. I don't have anything to smelt it with. I suppose I'll just store it away somewhere, since I can't really do anything with it. Alright, here we go. Alright, what the hell? Dude, what is... Uh... What? That's crazy! That's awesome! Man! Alright, well here's the staircase. Let's go up. What does it say? This bridge is the first hint. You need to push the buttons in the right order. Huh. Is there anything else I can do in this room? I can go in here. Oh wow, it's a wall of ladders. Um, I can come out and swim from one area to the other. This is pretty neat. Oh man. Plunk. Some more water there. Over here there's pumpkins. I have no way to get rid of pumpkins, but I can push this button. Lord knows what that does. Doesn't turn the pumpkins on and off. How do I get out of here? Do I just swim all the way back through here? That's gonna take forever. Alright, here we go. Hmm. I had to push the buttons in the right order. This bridge is your first hint. Huh. I'm going to go back and look at that sign again, because I'm sure that there's more to that. I skimmed it a little bit too too quickly. This is a really, this is a neat design. I already can tell that there's a big puzzle going on here, but I have no idea what it is as of right now. So let's go back up there and look at it again. Let's see. This bridge is the first hint. Why is it in quotes? You need to push the buttons in the right order. Stone bridge. I guess stone is the first one we're supposed to push? Is there a stone one up there? There's nether rock, there's diamond, there's gold, there's wood, brick, obsidian, sand, and pumpkin. I have no idea. Let's try gold. It's a staircase, it's not a bridge. There's a stone one, though. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Huh. Maybe I'm just horribly impatient, but I really want to be like, Ah! Where's the answers? Tell me what's happening here. This bridge is the first hint. How's a bridge a hint? It's made of stone. There's no stone thing. Why is it in quotes? It's supposed to be like, I have to spell the words first bridge with this stuff here, but it doesn't make any sense. Do any of these start with an F? Another rock, diamond, sand, no. So I can't spell the words first hint. I can't spell the word, well, I mean, I can spell the word bridge. Brick. No, I can't spell the word bridge either. 
What am I supposed to do, man? I'm, huh. I mean, I should just try pushing all these switches and see if anything, if it does anything. Let's go open here and open this door. Wait, I'm going up more. What the hell? What's up here? Hello. Wait a minute. Hey. What's going on up here? This is interesting. Got a minecart. Oh boy. What's going on here? Shortcut to the end of the sand and earth part. Huh. <laughs> Do I dare? What's down here? Was well, this the end, or is, where's the minecart go? Whoa. Confusing. Huh. <laughs> I guess he used this when he was making it. I'm totally, like, hacking the system right now, but... Uh, let me see. Yeah. Let's see where this goes. Open some doors. Or is this... Oh, no! This is where we've already been! Ah, I see. I see. <laughs> earth key? What earth key? Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back where we were. We don't want to end up back... Wow, I didn't believe we were that close. <laughs> I feel like we traveled so far inside that mountain. Really, we're just right there still. It's neat. Let's hop back up here. And we'll run back. Dirt ceiling. Dirt ceiling. Gotta climb all the way back up those ladders now, don't we? Here we go. I think I said that twice in this video now. That's not it's not funny, man. Alright, well what's the minecart for? Let's do this. Well it's too short for me to get on it here. If I write it down, I'm just gonna get my head smacked into all these things when we go underneath them. It's too low. Woohoo, hello. Seriously though, if I were riding the minecart through here, I'd be taking a lot of health damage. Or he says you're supposed to take health damage in some parts, doesn't he? Er, just six us out here anyway. I'll just run it. Doesn't matter. Hello. Well, that seems to be some sort of solution guide. Doesn't it look like that to you guys? Where does this go? I don't know if I want to go down there yet. Oh, shoot. How far did I fall? What's up there? Dang. What have I gotten myself into? Oh, I love the wall climbing puzzle. That's cool. I would never have thought to use ladders like that. Ha <laughs> ha, awesome. That's really neat. And we get a piece of cobblestone to toss on top of something or other. That's cool. Maybe I should write this down. Gosh, I'm not going to remember this. I got some paper right here. Obsidian. Wood. Sand. Pumpkin. Diamond, nether rock. All right, that's cool. Let's go ahead and get back into that room. Where does this take us? Is this a shortcut back out there? Maybe. Be nice. Hello. Goes up. Yes, you go downtown where the food is slop. Downtown. Ugh. Is it a stop? <laughs> Uh, whoa, hello. It is a shortcut back out. To here. And my car does not look happy being stuck in the ceiling. Oh well. I don't care about his feelings. There we go. Alright, so what's the first one? Obsidian. Well, it's, it's the one I'm right next to, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Get over there and push that obsidian switch. Well, tell me you put air in here, dude. Don't kill me. Tricky to do vertical drops with and still have air for you know because you have to have the water flowing through so it's one or the other you know obsidian okay okay now wood I hope that screwing around with that I did at the beginning won't affect the puzzle solving itself when I push the buttons in the right order when I finally get the solution you know I hope it still works even though I've screwed around with it at the beginning. I feel like if it didn't still work after screwing around at the beginning, nobody would ever be able to solve it, because everybody's going to just go try something and see what happens, you know? Why is this bridge a hint? It didn't seem at all related to that solution that we found on the wall in there. Huh. No, 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 no. Go back. Go over there. Go over there. Uh, next we need wood. Which is down. Uh, wait a minute. Is it this one? Is this one the wood? I think it is. Alright. 
let's fast forward this part. Alrighty then, that's all six switches. I wonder if it did anything. I don't think it opened that door down there. That's kind of just, you know, not really very satisfying. Uh, that's confusing. I, think I thought I was going to open that door for sure. Maybe it did something else. Oh, let's get down there and go look and see. Let's, oh, get out of there, not up the ladder. Let's see. Yeah, it, I already I did that. I pushed all the buttons, man. Uh. You to push the buttons in the right order. Well, I got it. I pushed the six of them in, in an order. What other order do you want? Seriously? Dude? Dude? Seriously, dude? Oh, come on, man. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> Seriously? I just... Ugh. Frustrating. Maybe just pushing the obsidian button opens the door? But then why would I need the other, f other five buttons if, if they don't do anything? Hmm. Let's see. If I get out that door, it brings me over here, it takes me across the bridge. What can I do once I'm up there? What's there to do up there? Is there a chest up there somewhere? What am I going to get in that chest? Huh. No, oh, great. I fell in the water. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit perturbed. I'm not sure what's going on, what I'm supposed to do here. Hmm. Well, I know that eventually I'm going to want to end up inside this uh, guy's head, right? Eventually I'm going to want to end up inside that head right there so that I can... I guess I'm gonna need to get up to the switch and drop a TNT block into the head. I'll just skip to the climax, yeah? Wish I had some tools. Oh man, that would be wonderful if I had tools. Nope, I'm gonna be beating down rocks with my bare fists. That's what I'm good for. So you give me some... a red... a diamond key. What? What would a diamond key get me? And where do you have to come from to have the diamond key? Or to get to the diamond key? From up here, huh? How do you get up here? Okay, that's definitely where you're gonna drop the bomb in. Definitely, but... Okay, what's up here? What does it say? Checkpoint. Bam! I see. But how are you supposed to get to here? Open this door. What is this door? How do I get to this door? Is that snow? Hello! What the heck's going on out there? If I could just escape, that would be wonderful. I might have to beat this door down. Really? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm cheating. I'm just screwing around. This is, I, I've got the puzzle and I'm stuck. And I, I know you guys don't want to see me just not solve a puzzle for ten minutes. And Honestly, I don't, I'm not in a puzzle-solving mood right now. But I wanted to marvel at the, at the world and how well done it was. And that is a, a wonderful rendition of the Dongo's Cavern, but... I have no idea how to go after that puzzle. Holy crap! See, this is the kind of stuff I want to show off. Holy moly. 
Alright, what have we got over here? For maximum ice feeling, turn render distance to low. Hmm. How do you... Okay, excuse me. Uh, what? Don't do that. Or maybe do. Oh, shit. I might be looking back up there. Ah, oh, freak. Alright, um... What? How did you get these trees to grow up here, dude? And how was I supposed to get them down? Get down them before? Alright, whatever. Hey, I got a key. Not the right kind of key, but still. This looks like the room that you fight that one boss in in uh, the water temple. Looks just like that room. Whoops, hello. How do you get into this room other than the way I just went? Probably blow a hole in the ceiling. I wonder if that's where you, the bomb goes off. Right there. And you get to here. Oh, sand key, huh? What do you find once you've got this door open? It's back here. What, would you let me in the door? Ugh, dude. Oh, a place to start the fire. Okay, handy. Let's see what this does. Get it nice and toasty. I guess that burns its way all the way up to the top and burns out all the water. Is it going to flood the whole room? Or how far it's gotten. Oh, it's making good progress. Well, dude, stop it. Stop it. Alright, let's just wait and, wait and see what happens here. That's a neat, neat idea. How did he get those trees to grow in that pattern like that? Unless he, like, hacked himself some leaf blocks and just put them down himself. Which I guess is an option. Alright, where's the burning? Whoops. Wow, I just knocked the crap out of my mouse. Sorry about that. So I guess eventually it'll burn its way all the way up to the top. What's that sound? Hello. Uh oh, it burned through up there. It burned through the top of the shout of the spout. The room is filling with water. <laughs> oh man, this is cool. Oh, check it out. I feel like I get a feeling I know what corner I want to be in. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> it's like, oh no, the room's flooding. It's like, is that lava? Um. What? Why is there lava up there? How do I get... Is that glass? Oh, there's glass above the lava. I think I need to go up. I need to be swimming up one of these so I don't drown. Uh, wow. Neat. Very neat. The room is full of water. I need to get to the door. Wow, that's crazy. How are you supposed to burn this one out? Is it going to burn all the way through, or do you have to use these glass blocks? I guess the first time you go up, you have to just jump up these glass blocks, huh? Let's go ahead and use the water instead. Since I don't feel like using the glass blocks. Eh. Eh. See if I can't burn that stuff. You flood all the rooms as you go, I suppose. Pretty tricky. And a very neat effect as the leaves burn away and the water spills through. It's crazy. All right, so, wow, an ice puzzle. Let's get to it. I'm excited about this. I don't need this door. Get out of here. Ah, oh, dude. Oh, well, that's great. First jump and you miss it. Way to go. Oh, seriously? What? Oh, man. This could be hard. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, boy. Something tells me that this could be a long puzzle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, slow down now. Stop, 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 stop. What if I sneak? Hehe, <laughs> it's like, like hacking this system. Okay, cool. Made it to this first little area. All kinds of chests up there. Er, stop, going off the edge. Hurt, hurt. This isn't that bad shit. <laughs> I would, wouldn't I? Alright, so what do you get once you're up there, I wonder? All kinds of chests you have to jump to. Holy crap, some of those jumps look really tough. And there's a switch with a door. Another door. Holy crap, man. How did you even conceive of this? This whole area is just astounding. What's over here? Checkpoint 2. Do I have to have already solved the puzzle to climb up this ladder? Bet you I do. Yep. 
A good thing I have the ability to beat doors down with my bare fists. Better yet. Just plunk a redstone torch around here somewhere. Excuse me. Actually, you know what? There's a more efficient way to do this. Just climb out. Alright, there we go. Neat. Look at that. He makes made the whole room out of ice. How did he get it to not melt? This whole area must be tundra for that to ice to not be melting. Crazy. Alright. Ice cave. Cool. Well, it's up here. Ah, I need another key. Good thing I have plenty of keys. Whoops. Come here, you. Don't slide away. Get over here. Get over here! Oh, an ice maze. <laughs> More like a... Not really a maze, it's just a bunch of room with a bunch of blocks in it to slow you down, I think. Alright, what's out here? Another platforming dealio. I suppose the way to get on top of the palace. Let's see what there is. Let's slide our way over here. Run across this little doohickey here. Oh, don't fall. Oh, crap. Just go for it. <laughs> just run. You'll make it. Wait a minute, this is just where I came from. I just ran back the way I came. What am I doing? Well, you can't jump back up that way, dude. That's not going to work. All right. Way to go. Way to use the one-way exit without looking where you're going first. Good work, Poncho. Good work. Seriously, man. It's like I'm stupid. Sometimes I scare myself. <sighs> What's over here? Nothing? Ah, okay. Pretty dark in this ice cave. I guess you wouldn't have any other putting torches in here, would you? Alright, well, what do you find if you go all the way to the end of this cave? You just ignore all the doors to the left that take you back out. wonder what you find if you get all the way over here. Oh, excuse me, I'm not going to let you stop me now. Oh, shoot, they turned into water. Should have known better. Oh, should have known better. Dude, that's annoying. Alright. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Okay. So now we're on top of the cave. Cool. Top of this ice palace thing that we're in here. What do we get for it? Guess I can make this little leap of faith here. And then continue to hop across. Oh, this is going to be fun as hell. I can make single hops. Oh, shoot. Oh, the platform's getting smaller. The platform's getting smaller. Ah, oh, freak. Where would that have taken me? Wait, where could I have gotten to from there that I couldn't have gotten to previously? Those three doors up there? Looks like it. Okay. We know there are other ways to get to those three... Oh, hello! Um... Huh! <laughs> Sorry about that! Didn't mean to break out. I was trying to make a staircase. Up to the one of those doors. <laughs> my bad. I'll just go on my merry way now. As I work my way up to one of those doors. Or rather, maybe I should just use one of these ladders they put out here. Huh, wow, this is what he built it on, huh? Some really strangely spawning chunks. Tell you that. Holy crap. Give me some dirt. Well, now it's starting to look like Minecraft. I guess that's the only way you really can get all this crap to work, is if you get this camera to that ladder. Seriously. <laughs> this is like the hacked version. <laughs> Alright, let's climb up this ladder and see where this takes us. So if I had made it across that icy, slippery path, this is where I would have, I would have ended up. It's up here. Or rather, in here, I suppose. Hello. And we need to put a key in here. What is that going to do? Let me look out here and see where that circuit goes. It's cooking something down here. Let's follow it. What's up here? I like the maintenance tunnels, basically, that I'm just using here. Alright, I need another one here, I suppose. Oh crap, I've only got so many redstone torches, you know? Shoot. There's the button I want. Okay. That's powering something else down here. I suppose the third one is also going to need a redstone torch. It's unfortunate since I only have this one left. I'm going to use it up. This place is huge, I tell you. Oh my god. Uh, there's a lot going on here. Uh, hey, there's already one here. Is this to get rid of it? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. I feel like it's supposed to be there. Let's leave it there. 
Alright. Let's follow it down to where the circuitry is. Huh. This is interesting. What does it all lead to? An AND gate? 3-2 to another AND gate? Runs power this way? Okay, where's this going? It's running all the way around, it's gonna end up underneath here. Going off somewhere. This is probably the big solution for this area, is once you've done this. Uh, man, where's this going? <laughs> Holy crap. Comes out... up there somewhere. Well, shoot. Um, time to go into Minecraft mode. I need some wood. Something to make a torch. Make some... not torches, what am I saying? Make a, make a tool with. Something to make tools with. Hey, there's some leather over there. Like, I need that. There's a whole tree that's burning here. Just grab three. That should be enough to make a basic pick, right? I think so. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for, like, just completely hacking out of this area and not playing by the rules, but I can't be bothered, to be honest. I'm just kind of meh about it all. It's a neat, really neat world. I'm, I just want to get, I just want to get to see it all. I'm not interested in solving the puzzles. <laughs> all right, there we go. And we'll bring it with us. Come here, we'll use the pick to get it. Moink, thank you. Alright. Let's go back to where that area was and pick our way in. And hopefully we can figure out what that thing was powering. Where this line goes here. See if we can't just mine our way in around it. Oh, there's a staircase here. I should be careful where I dig. I don't want to disturb the redstone if I can avoid it. Whoops, well don't move your mouse cursor away until you get rid of the stuff, dude. Okay, here we go. I wonder where I'm popping I wonder where I'm popping out here. Alright, let's see. Back here at the beginning. Where's that torch powering? It goes to right there. Is there anything in front of it here? Like what am I looking at here? It's got power. What's it go up to? Does it power something way up there? Open a door or something? Does it do something important for me? Okay, let's just bust our way through here. Checkpoint. Oh, we're back here again. What the hell? What? <laughs> what am I doing? Um. Hmm? Confusion. Um. Whatever. We have a pick now. We can get through this area. Let's see what's back here. Maybe this is where the TNT is? No, it's a, it's a key. Seriously? Ugh. What? 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 Alright, well, you know what? I can use my pick to break into this area of the dungeon anyway, so... I guess I don't really need... What do these signs even say? First, if you bust them out, you can't read them. How do I... Shoot. Okay, I got a ladder over there I can use to get back up top. Shoot, don't fall in the water. Come on, man. You're better than that. You're wasting time. This video is going to be horrendously long. Probably really boring, too. I don't want to post this. I'm like, I'm, I'm almost, I almost don't want to put this up, because this is just seeming like it's going on forever. And if I were to actually play it properly, I would just get completely blown away by how long it would take. <laughs> I just been recording for like eight hours and finally beat the damn thing and be like, what? What's going on here? I will show this. I will post this. Don't, I mean, why am I reassuring you? If you're hearing this, I posted it. Ain't shit to worry about, yo. Alright, well, obviously, we're supposed to use TNT to bust open this area here. And uh, we have a diamond key from somewhere. We did pick that up at some point, even though we weren't probably supposed to. Alright, so. Bam. Open it up. Here we go. You receive the ice key. You may use this to open the path of the temple ruins. Thank you. I'm going to take lots of your redstone torches now. And I'm going to show off that I have your three keys. I don't know where the hell. Uh, I'm going to actually end up taking this crap because I have no idea how to get back to where we started now. So lost. But okay, there's the ice key. Cool. I love the ice key. It's like Banjo-Kazooie's ice key. Everybody loves the ice key. You want the ice key. You really, really want the ice key. Alright. Let's get out of here. 
don't fall in that hole. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Very nice rendition of Donongo's Cavern. I like it a lot. Don't... Oh, dude, I keep missing that jump. Seriously. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Let's go over here. And hopefully find our way back to that central room. Lord knows if I'll even be able to. Actually, I don't think it's that far from here. I don't know where that first sand key we were supposed to get was. I'd love to see Leios make an actual walkthrough. That that would be my request. It would be a walkthrough and an explanation of the puzzles. Just for people who don't have the time to solve through, go through the puzzles and solve it all themselves, but are, are interested in the world. And quite frankly, I, I don't have to solve the puzzles to appreciate the depth that at which you, you created them. Essentially, if you were just to tell me how you're supposed to figure out the solutions, I would have as much respect for the puzzle that way as if I had solved it myself. And it would take a lot less time. So... <laughs> Yeah, that would be my request, this would be to have a, a series of videos just showing the, the easy way through here. You could even just cut out parts where it was just like, and now you platform across all this ice. <laughs> like this. And then you just like fast forward your success attempt or whatever, I don't even know. Oh boy, we're, we're slowly working our way back to the central area. I don't know where I'm supposed to put these actual keys. Uh, there don't seem to be a bunch of redstone areas that are just begging for torches. Uh, but we now have the ice key and the, the, what is it, the stone key and the dirt key or something like that, or the earth key, excuse me, we have the earth key, and then we have the black key, and now we have the ice key too. So I suppose once you worked your way all the way back out here, I like that the ice key is inside the dongo's head, that's neat too. Hopefully now that we've worked our way back out here, we can get the heck to some, like, final solution area. Not like Final Solution, like Hitler's Final Solution, but it's Final Solution like, this is really cool. I'm glad I just did this for so long. Final Solution. What's down here? I already looked over this area. Why am I down here again? Where am I supposed to take these things? I never did explore this fully. Oh, shoot. Come on, I'm losing. I'm forgetting that controls for the freaking game. Ooh, there you go. That works. Wait a minute. There's a big path on top of that thing there. How am I supposed to open that? I feel like that's got to be where he put the final area. It's somehow way up there. Let me see. Hmm. Here we go. What's down here? My death? My drowning? Is that what's down here? Just a great way to get the player to drown himself? Because if that's all this is, I totally accomplished it, dude. Huh. <laughs> I'm gonna die. How wonderful. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, really though? Why is this so deep? There's something down here. <laughs> That's really weird. Can I bust in here? Oh hell, not underwater, I can't. <laughs> hmm. Well, maybe I should just cheat my way into here too. Just dig in. Oh, there's a way to get inside there, from somewhere. Wait a minute, it looks like there's water in there. Why can't I? Hello. So I have to get in from underwater somewhere, huh? I have to get to here. What is this? It's an underwater tunnel. Keep moving. Just keep swimming. Go up. Okay, seriously? How far does this go? I just want to know where this came from. I don't need to drown in the process. Seriously? Dude? 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 Air, please? Air? Oh. I see what you did there. Very tricky. How am I supposed to find that, though? How's the player supposed to know that that's where you're supposed to go? I don't know, man. I don't know. Alright, so I guess once you're in here, you just climb this ladder, huh? All the way up to the freaking top. Hello, what's this? Use this key in the ice and water part. Oh! Cool. There it is! Well, I guess I should have got that from the hint. It's not in one of the three parts. It's in the main area. You know, I guess that makes sense. It's pretty cool, actually. I like that. I like how some of the solutions are sort of coming together. But there are some areas I just looked like, what? Like the, the thing with the with the keys, and you had to push them in the right order? Uh, like, did I not do that in the right order or something? I really hope I didn't miss that mess the order up. That made me mad. Road to the Broken Temple, you need the three keys. The earth key. Okay, where are my keys? The earth key found in the earth and sand, first part. 
black key found in the mechanics and illusions part, and the ice key. I will see I only need one of those torches, and I brought two of each. And we get a minecart ride. This is exciting! Heal before you get on the ride. I'm full of health. I'm deliciously full of health. I shouldn't have put it right there. That's dumb. Oh, oh, hello. Come here. I'm healed. Let's do this. Why do I, why do I need to heal? Am I gonna die? Oh, lava! What? Hello? That's not cool. Don't kill me. Dude. What? Ah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm on peaceful. I'm not gonna die because I'm on peaceful, but still. How does he expect you to live through this if you're if you're not on peaceful? Um. Uh, what? Any other player would have died. Like ah, at this point you're just like shit, shit. I'm burning. I'm burning. Okay, that, that can stop now. That'd be wonderful if that stopped. Okay. Um, please. Stop burning me. Take as many apples as you need. Oh, goodness. Thank you very, very much. Whoops. Oh, no, I stopped burning. Let's restore a lot of health, incidentally. So. Here it is, huh? The final temple bit, right up in here. Bum, 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 bum. Maybe not. Oh, this is just a staircase. And a large platforming area. Oh, boy. Fun, fun, fun. Now that daddy took the T-Bird away, uh... Dude. 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 Seriously? Seriously? Dude. I think my armor probably protected me quite a bit during that lava part. I don't know how much damage protection that actually gives you. Okay, there we go. There we go. Ladder! Oh, dude, I fell through a hole. Are you serious? Ugh. Come on. Alright, you know what? I have a lot of cobblestone. God knows from where. I don't remember picking that stuff up. Let's see if I can't just shortcut my way up there. You know it. I cheated my way through the old dungeon, why stop now? I just supposed to open that door. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm sure there's an intricate, intricate puzzle solution involved, but I'm not gonna be... Holy shoot, this is just crazy. Well, there's one right above me, so let's just go up there. <laughs> yes, I'm doing it the crazy way. I got a good reason to do, to do for taking the easy way out now. Got a good reason for taking the easy way out now. She was a day tripper, a Sunday driver, yeah. Took me so long to find out the video ended up being way too long because I recorded for way too long. There we go. It's in here. <laughs> Lol. Thank you very much. Is that the culmination of the dungeon? I hope not. Uh, that would suck. Love to build a little bridge here. Or shit, don't fall off. Oh, I should have been sneaking. I was thinking. Ugh. Alright, there's gotta be more. How do I get up there? How do I get to that door? Alright, let's just build our way over there. This is tricky. Can I reach that? Come on, I can reach that. There we go. Now I'm making it really difficult to get over there by putting all kinds of shit in the way. Shoot, 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 don't fall off. And it's an empty chest. Are you serious, dude? An empty chest? Why did you put that there? That's crazy. Shoot, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Alright. I'm running on diagonals now. Oh, there's a door that needs a key. That must be somewhere I'm supposed to go eventually. Thankfully, I have lots of keys. Huh. Okay, up here. There's a really tight spiral staircase. Need a second sand key to get through there. Okay, we're at the top. Awesome. This has to lead somewhere. I'm getting excited now. Getting near the final area, I bet. I don't know how he's gonna finish it, though. I don't know what the what's the reward gonna be when we get done. Are we gonna are we gonna beat a big boss? I can't see how you could do a boss in a Minecraft game. This is a pretty epic stairway. A little way to walk across here, but still. A huge room with lots of ladders. That's cool. Open sky. We haven't seen the open sky in a while. Hello. That's all glass. Yeah. Okay, good. Congratulations, you finished the dungeon! Nice. What's that big area there? Oh, that's the area we came through when we went down the, the chute. And we got burned to death for no reason. 
That sucked. <laughs> well, I commend you for creating this world. It is absolutely huge, it is complicated, and it's pretty much awesome. So, two thumbs up to Leios for building this. This is pretty freaking neat. Look at how much stuff you did. There's more stuff over there, too. I can't believe how much work this must have been to do this. This is just crazy. I mean, wow. What better way to celebrate by throwing ourselves right off of it and onto the, the wild blue yonder there. And look, there's the circuit tree behind that puzzle. <gasps> awesome. I really want to know how you're supposed to solve that. How do we get down there? Hmm. Shoot, I'm on peaceful, but I still can't make a fall like that. It just doesn't work. There's a way to work your way down the side of a flat surface, though. I've never shown this, but you basically find a way to plop a brick down lower like that. If you can do it right, you can get it two blocks below you, but what you can do is essentially build a staircase like this. Or if you really are ballsy, you can just drop and try and put a block underneath you. Oh, dude. Wow. Uh, that was really... <laughs> that could have been it. But basically, you try to stick a block to the wall right underneath you so you don't die, but it can be really tricky to pull off. Alright, I'm going to go look at the circuitry for this puzzle, because that is... Got, that got me going. I really want to know how this works. Oh, man, what the hell is going on here? This is all kinds of shit. Wires and... Huh. Um... Well, no wonder this guy made a puzzle revolving around redstone. He sure as, knows, sure as hell knows how to use it. Holy crap. Is the pumpkin one on down there? Huh. Alright, let's follow this back. Figure out what it eventually does. I guess it does... I guess it would just power that door. I must have just done it wrong, but... Man, I don't even know how you could figure this stuff out to get the solution to work the way you want. I mean, seriously, it's crazy. Look at all this. Man, well, big props to Leios for building this whole area. What does this do? Is it like a big grand reset button? And there's some stuff here. That's interesting. Alright, well, I'm done screwing around and messing with this guy's world, so... If you guys find another Minecraft world that you want me to show off, or at least totally bust out of and look at the inner guts of, like this one, uh, send it to me. This one was submitted by Gladi Goomba. Thank you for sending that. This is a really freaking neat world. And I gotta say, this was fun to, to just just to see this. Even if I wasn't able to solve the puzzles, because I I I was certainly wasn't willing to put my mind to the task. Uh I still really appreciated this world and this is just pretty freaking neat. I gotta say, this is this is really awesome. Link in the description. Make sure you go and check this out for yourself. Maybe you can try and figure out how to solve some of the puzzles that I skipped. Or find other areas, and it looks like there's a lot more to this world over there. It's a tower or something over there. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Uh, thanks for watching, and keep crafting.